GoBeerReviews.com. So one of the fun things we do on our website and our YouTube channel are these 12-pack reviews. Uh, we tell you what's in them. They're always seasonal. We let you know what uh, different beers are in them. We do the reviews afterwards, and everyone loves them. And I truly enjoy doing these because if you're sitting on the grocery aisle and you're trying to figure out, should I buy this or not? Is it worth my money? Voila, microbeerreviews.com is at your service. So, this is the Goose Island Variety Pack 2015. Um, the unique beer in this is this bad boy right here. This is called the Goose Experimental. So, it's got this red and white label on it. It doesn't tell you much. It says uh, it's got Cascade and Columbus hops uh, with hops grown from Goose, Goose Island at Elk Mountain. Farms on uh, our copper colored extra special bitter has fruity hop aromas and a rich toasted malt. ABVs are 5.7%, and that's about it. 49th parallel Elk Mountain Farms. So they have taken it to another level. Um, they're growing their own hops right on the foundation of Goose Island, uh, which I think is kind of cool. But what you'll notice is, if I can find it on the box here, uh, Goose Island, and I just want to make sure it was originally and is based out of Chicago, but what's interesting is it says um, they've done this kind of cool thing, so they've kind of switched a lot of their beers Growing things locally, which lends to this beer, which is the Ten Hills. This is the uh, Pale Ale. It's a citrus and herbal hop aroma type uh, pale ale. Um, we have re re reviewed this, but it does have hops from Elk Mountain Farms. Um, what else can I tell you about this? This beer, I like this one. This one's pretty good. Um, this is the Goose IPA, so this one is not as hoppy. Um, this particular beer, they kind of claim as a lot more citrusy, a lot more um, bright aromas, bolder finish. Uh, ABVs are a little bit less, but um, this is a popular beer with, with Goose Island on draft in many parts of the country, especially in the Chicago area. Goose Autumn Ale. So I've had this several times. We, we have reviewed this. Um, this is one of those beers that... Um, it's, uh, it's a red ale by class. Um, it's got the, a very dry finish. It's got a nice kind of multi flavor to it. It's very easy to drink. The thing I like about this particular beer is it's a good transition from the summer, even fall beers before the winters with the nuttier, um, more malty beers. And this, it's just... It's easy to drink. It's got a nice piney flavor to it. It's got a nice malty aroma to or flavor and aroma to it. And it's it's crystal clear when you look at it. So all the goose beers, uh, I have to say I'm a fan of because the company I worked for years ago was based out of Chicago. So every everywhere you went, these were all on draft. And where I live on the East Coast, they're never on draft. So we occasionally got like this in the bottle on the six pack. This might have shown up. This never would have shown up. So the, the distribution is definitely expanded. But anyway, 2015, I think I paid $16 for the 12 pack. That's a steal. This beer, I think, is going to be awesome. I'm totally excited about this beer. None of these am I disappointed that are in there. Great price point. Great brewery. Love, love where they come from. This Elk Mountain Farms that they're harvesting now all of their hop, most, all or most of their hops from um, is only something that everyone should support. So go out and buy it. Reviews will be up soon. Thanks for watching MicroReviews.com. See you again soon. Cheers.